So good evening and welcome. I'm Dr. Timothy Lynch and I'm the interim president of Queensborough Community College and I'll be serving as your uh, MC this evening. Uh, and I wanna formally welcome you to our annual celebration of service. Uh, it's my pleasure and honor to preside at this special event. This is truly one of the highlights of our annual event calendar. And this year's celebration is especially significant as it commemorates not only those who have been here for 20 plus years, but also because it marks 60 years of continuous service for the college itself. Those being recognized tonight, therefore, have been here for a third, a half, or even more of the college's institutional history. But tonight we're here to pay tribute to our honorees. Many have spent the better part of their lives committed to making a difference in the lives of the students who come to our institution. So whether you work with our students in the classroom, interact with our students as they register for classes and seek financial aid, work behind the scenes processing bills, filing paperwork, keeping official records, or maintaining a safe, clean, and exceptionally beautiful campus, Tonight is about you. And you are to be commended for ensuring that our students receive a transformational academic experience, a personalized service across the board. Your, dedica your dedication goes a long way towards helping our students create a better life for themselves and for others. Thank you for being a part of the Queensborough Community College family. We'll now commence with the individual award presentations. We'll begin with those individuals who have 20 years of service to the institution. Our first honoree from the Department of Pre-College Continuing Education and Workforce Development is Dr. Diana Berkowitz. apologize in advance for having to speak very fast. I only have one minute. <laughs> so the first time I came to this campus was for my first interview for CLIP coordinator 20 and a half years ago. It was in late April. I thought, this campus is very pleasant. I could see myself working on such a campus. Then I came for my second interview in May, and I thought, this campus is really lovely. I would really like to work here. Fortunately, I also felt a collegial connection with the people on my search committee. Among them was Florence C., who is here somewhere, my good buddy now. And uh, it was almost uncanny how well I felt I clicked with them all. I knew this was a place I would like to work at, and most fortunately, I was offered the job. In my 20 years here, I have had several different deans and VPs to report to, first in academic affairs and then in continuing ed. I would like to make special mention of Vice President Emeritus Denise Ward, who retired several months ago. I feel I learned so much under her mentorship, and I will always be grateful for having had her in my professional life. Following her retirement, CLIP was moved back into academic affairs along with other pre-college programs, and I just want to express my appreciation to Assistant Dean Michael Pullen for his enthusiastic support and help these past few months. I also want to thank my wonderful staff in CLIP and CUNY START, my superb instructors, most efficient college assistants, and other exceedingly helpful support staff. In particular, I'd like to thank both Bonnie Flaherty and Monica Gonzalez. Bonnie has gone from being a CUNY START reading writing teacher to assistant director of CUNY START to director of CUNY START in a relatively short time. And, with, um, and she made my job so easy because she required so little supervision as she, I'm sorry, as she worked her way up to director. Monica went from being a CLIP teacher to CLIP instructor to assistant director of CLIP, a position in which she could take her strong administrative skills, which she has already exhibited uh, as an instructor, and took charge of matters that I did not have to attend to anymore so I could focus on other 
professional development matters. I also want to mention that Monica was the first teacher I hired when I started CLIP on this campus 20 years ago. But because the CLIP teacher line does not fit neatly into any of the categories for the 20 years of service celebration, she cannot be recognized officially up here tonight. So I just want to also congratulate her on her 20 years of service. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Berkowitz. I was remiss in not acknowledging my colleague, Dr. Uh, Pecorino, who's assisting us this evening. He himself has been here for 48 years. So, so he's been on this campus as long as I've been on this planet. Our next honoree from the Department of English is Margaret Chin Kui. Hello, everyone. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Hi. Um, I just want to say thank you for the honorable recognition and acknowledgement of my 20 year service here at QCC. Throughout the years and even now, it has and continues to be a pleasure to work with and serve under six different chairpersons <laughs> from Professor Noodleman, Kernet, Warsey. Rochford, Humphreys, and Malloy, along with our incredible cast of talented, hardworking English faculty and staff who are committed to serving our QCC students. I'm delighted and proud, therefore, to be a part of this wonderful experience of tireless education, um, tireless dedication and professionalism shown by our department in helping our QCC students become effective readers and writing writers who can achieve their educational dreams and possibilities. Thank you, everybody. Our next honoree from the Office of Academic Affairs is our Dean of Institutional Effectiveness and my good friend, Dr. Arthur Corradetti. Thank you. With the exception of uh, about six months or eight months in sponsored programs, I've been in in academic affairs uh, the rest of the 20 years. And I owe that to uh, Steve Belser and Karen Steele, who hired me back in 1999. I'm very grateful for them for giving me this opportunity. And since then, I've reported to, I think, 12 different provosts. <laughs> and the number keeps climbing. Uh, but I'm very happy to have done so. I'm very grateful for the opportunities that I've had to work on some very important and significant projects that have affected the campus as a whole. I've been honored to do so. Uh, and I've been very honored and happy to work with all of the people that have made those projects uh, come off successfully. Thank you. From the Department of Social Sciences, Dr. Anita Ferdenzi. Thank you, Dr. Lynch. Um, it, it is truly an honor and a privilege to have worked among and with 
most of you here. Um, working with the faculty, the talented administrators, and support staff in our mission, which is truly from the heart, that keeps us going in working towards helping our wonderful students realize their goals and dreams. Thank you very much. Our next honoree comes from the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance, Ms. Janice Gruber. Okay. Thank you, President Lynch. Good evening, everyone. Time sure has flown by since I started working at QCC. First part-time in the financial aid in, in 1996. A few years later, I became full-time and went to human resources. Now I'm working in the health, phys ed, and dance department. To put time in perspective, my daughter, who's here, was nine years old when I started. She's now in her 30s and most importantly, made me a Grammy, yay. <laughs> QCC has been more than just a place to work. I've made many lifelong friendships along the way, and I want to thank all my former coworkers in HR who supported me through the years, especially the women I worked with in faculty and staff relations. Liza Lario, Sangita Noel, Angela Gamoka, I never say your name right, sorry. <laughs> Elaine Kaplan, Lois Foreman, I saw her over here, yep, just to name a few. And thank you to Dr. Salas, Kathy Morawski, and all the people I work with in the HPED department for making me feel so welcome. Lastly, thank you to my family. Congratulations to all the other lifers. And see how time flies? I have to go now. <laughs> Our next, honoree is, oh, our next honoree is from the mail room, Mr. Brian Harper. Thank you, President Lynch. Now you know my real age. I, I turned 20 today. So let's see if I can reflect on 20 years in one minute. First, I must say thanks to our grand creator, Jehovah God, who I relied on for timely patience, endurance, and everything else in between that helped me to complete these 20 years of service. Next, I would like to thank my lovely wife, Paula, who stood with me for those 20 years. With the unmatched efforts of well-prepared daily meals, knowing that good health is needed to endure. I thank you for being the glue and the better half of our, of our matrimonial team. Some years ago, about 20 years ago, we should say, after nine years of service there, I left the King, that is Queen, Kingsboro Community College, to serve the Queen, Queensboro <laughs> Community College, stationed in one of the many service departments on campus, known as the mailroom. I faced many challenges over the years. But the goal to make QCC the number one mailroom in CUNY, I kept focus with one thought in mind. That thought was, ask not what QCC can do for me, but rather what I can do for my new QCC family. Thank you. That was my focus 20 years ago and still is at present. It was never a, a one-man show, so to speak, I had loyal help. And so with much appreciation and gratitude, I would like to say a few thank yous. Thanks to the leadership of Vice President Stephen DiDio and our print shop coordinator, Mr. D. Richard DiMato, 
for their continuous support in making sure that all goes well with the mailroom operation. A respectful thanks to the Vice President William Faulkner and Mr. David Wasserman, Executive Director of Finance, for their quiet behind the scene problem solving without any public fanfare. A heartfelt thanks to the members of my staff, Savannah, David, and John, who made each working day a memorable one with their loyal attitude, endurance, and dedication. A sincere thanks to you, to all of the purchasing, budgeting, and accounting department, the loyal staff members who always made sure that the mailroom operation needs are met. Thanks, thank you for all the excellent support you have given throughout the many years. Finally, thanks to all in the QCC family here this evening under the caring leadership of our interim president, Dr. Timothy Lynch, for acknowledging and honoring those who have displayed steadfast loyalty throughout the many years, caring and enduring, simply because we love what we do. Now, please allow me to, let, to leave a few work-related tips with you. <laughs> Continue to work hard for a cause and not just for an applause. Live life to express and not just to impress. Don't strive to make your presence notice. Just keep doing good as you should, and your absence would be felt throughout the entire QCC neighborhood. Again, thank you all, and may all of us continue striving to be the best we can be at QCC. Thank you. Our next honoree from the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences is Elizabeth Nersessian. Thank you, President Lynch. It's been a pleasure and an honor to serve the QCC community for 20 years. And a very special thank you to the math department for their support and um, help in the continuous growth of the Math Learning Center. I started in 1999 as the director of the Math Learning Center and we have grown to a larger extent thanks to the support of the community and the department and the administration. Thank you. From the Department of Information Technology, Oral Ratigan. Thank you. Um, you know, I finally got a chance to wear my blue suit. <laughs> um, uh, this suit is for uh, Dr. Curry Deddy. <laughs> and this hat is for David Wasserman. <laughs> you know, for 20 years I was trying to outdress them. <laughs> um, with all seriousness, um, I think I'm in full agreement with all the honorees when I say, um, where did 20 years go, right? Um, for me personally, I had two beautiful and smart and healthy kids, Esther Radigan and 
Nehemiah Radigan. He came to visit me today. And um, about 17 years ago, I bought Neo, my son, in, a, in his stroller, tiny fella, to show him off to um, my colleagues in IT. And now Nehemiah is in college. And he's taller than me. <laughs> a lot taller than me. So the time goes by fast. Um, you know, I got a call from Ronnie, and she says, um, I'm going to be honored for 20 years of service at, uh, in, in October 17th tonight. And, but the truth be told, I should be the one giving the honors. Um, um, because without these people, I truly wouldn't have been here. 100% certain on that. Um, definitely Marianne Myers for the tech prep program. Um, uh, John McGloin, he sent me an email. He couldn't make it, personal reasons. He was the director of information technology 20 years ago. And um, it was told to me that the last thing he did was hire me before he left. Now, I like to think that was a good thing. <laughs> well, it depends on how you look at it, right? Um, Emil Paranello, um, Emil um, 20 years ago put me under his wings. And because of that, I really had nothing to fear. Um, also, um, Ed McNally, he was the senior technician for the business department. And um, my last semester at QCC, I interned with him. And he really taught me everything I knew that he knew. And uh, last but not least, uh, Vivian Kaufman. Um, she knows how special she is to me. She gave me a warm call to congratulate me. Um, without Vivian, I would have met um, Amo, and I would have met um, uh, Ed McNally. So she was a catalyst of it all. And um, another truth we told is that I would have lasted 20 years if it wasn't for folks like Ralph Romanelli. He was my um, supervisor 20, uh, 20 years ago, and Ralph learned the hard way that I was a uh, slow learner. So Ralph, thank you for your patience. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I should have expected that. Uh, Brian Farr, great leadership skills 20, 20 years ago. And um, Quinson Ganjan, my current supervisor. I, I couldn't have asked for a better supervisor. Um, and um, another final truth be told is that I probably wouldn't have Really, everyone here at QCC had some hand in me last in 20 years. So I thank QCC. I thank it, you all. Um, I'd like to reserve um, some time just to thank some special friendships that I've had for 20 years, like Elizabeth Gordon. Thank you for the wonderful conversations about nature and life. Um, uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, um, wife of Jacko, great friend, um, uh, um, Frank Finelli, wonderful person to be with. Um, met some great people in the uh, B&G department, awesome people there in the public safety department. Johnson, I don't know if he's here, um, and the adjunct service department. Um, and um, you know, last but not least, uh, thank you for my son for showing up. And I think without him, I don't think I'll probably would be here. So thank you all. From the Department of English, Dr. Linda Reisman. Thank you all. Um, I'm just very honored to be here and appreciate, thank you, President Lynch, for um, bringing us all together tonight and for the celebration and making us really think back about our journeys in terms of how we got here. Um, there's so many thoughts and so many uh, experiences that we've all had. Um, my journey began actually just as an adjunct before I was here for 20 years. I was here for six years. And I have to thank that moment in my life when I was a student, a doctoral student at St. John's, because that's where I met the people that helped me get here. And that um, person, Joe Panaleo, who's our diversity officer here tonight. 
So thank you, Joe. And for the privilege of working with probably one of the longest chairs in our uh, history at Queensborough, Sheena Gillespie and Linda Stanley, who took me under their wing and um, just made my experience, you know, feeling like uh, it's a big secret. I should pay them. They shouldn't pay me for, you know, working because working was such a pleasure. And working with the students all these years, um, I also have to thank um, my mentor, David Shimkin, who's here tonight, um, for <laughs> mentoring me not only in the English department, but with the communique, the student newspaper. Um, we've had a lot of fun experiences developing that. And um, I think most of all, um, my experience um, just working with the students and seeing um, you know, the light bulbs go on that we're still doing this, you know, all these years later and can continue to do this. Uh, Queensboro is a very special place and I'm so proud to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Dr. Pecorino said, you, you've made it halfway, so 20, 20 more. <laughs> um, <clears throat> from the Department of Accounts Payable, Sukina Saunders. Good evening, everyone. First, I want to say thank you to my God for this present moment. Thank you to my lovely daughter, Monet the Impressionist. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> thank you to my new office, accounting and uh, related entities. My four months in the office have been great. Prior to relocating, I was in one of the toughest offices known to the college community as the Bursa's office. <laughs> I did my full 20 years of service in that office. I worked with seven sets of bosses, equaling 18 in total, and I survived. <laughs> I'm, grateful for, I'm grateful for the experience and milestone. Thank you to QCC security team. I truly appreciate the, their vigorous effort when I asked for their assistance locating my disabled transportation, accessory, also known as stressori. I salute you all. Thank you to B&G, to the B&G department for maintaining the areas throughout the college community because sometimes I'm messy, so thank you. <laughs> Lastly, thank you to the entire college community for, the, for your support in all areas of customer service. From the Department of Biological Sciences and Geology, Dr. Roland Scal. President Lynch, oh, thank you so much. Hello, thank you for having me here. It's just been a pleasure, 20 years, every day has been fun, and I appreciate all my wonderful colleagues. I just don't know how to say thanks to just one person because all of you make this place so wonderful. And I hope to maybe get in another 10 years before retiring, but I'm amazed to hear some people have done 50 years and they're thinking of staying longer. Wow, you've got some stamina. Thank you. And I'm glad to hear that everyone's so happy here. It's just wonderful. All the inductees were so great. So now move to our honorees who have served for 20 years as adjuncts. And our first honoree from the Department of English, English 
is Georgian Albanese. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here among so many auspicious friends and colleagues. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was wonderful working here, and it always has been. I'm finished. <laughs> Good night, all. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> From the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance, Dr. Joyce Boffert. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for the recognition. Um, in 20 years, I was thinking about what memories I have from Queensboro. And I like to start by just saying that my 20 years as an adjunct uh, was really after the fact. Uh, Queensboro is my alma mater. Uh, I started my college education here. Uh, and in all honesty, out of all the schooling that I've had, um, my fondest memories and my most positive experiences really still remain at Queensboro. Um, I, though, uh, as an adjunct, uh, have looked at my experiences at Queensboro as an inspiration and innovation. Uh, personally, uh, I have done several things in my 20 years here. Uh, I changed the CUNY bylaws uh, single-handedly. Uh, I d did it in the realm of pay equality, uh, and so you could all blame me for that. Uh, I also was part of the advisory board uh, led by Alex Tarasco, uh, where we developed and <clears throat> were able to get the two-year degree massage program uh, instituted at the college. And um, finally, um, before I became an adjunct, uh, I taught continuing ed for many years at this school. So uh, I appreciate what I have been able to do for Queensboro and hope to continue to do so. Thank you. From the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, <clears throat> Mr. Eddie Cantos. Good evening, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for this important recognition. I have to say thank you to Mona. Where is Mona? Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Dr. Appleman, who gave me the opportunity in 1993, and also Dr. Bertoli. Uh, and now Maria Mercedes is our boss. Uh, it's very important. Uh, I am very proud to work here at Q uh, in Queensboro Community College. There's important family, especially the people in the in the office, the secretary, they are very good, support me all the time when I request something. Thank you. Uh, the people who clean the classroom also support me when I request something. The security, when the, the lock is 
I cannot open the door. I call there, and they support me all the time. So thank you, everybody. And also thank you to my beautiful wife who support me all the time where I am. I, she is there with me. Thank you. Thank you. The Department of Business, Deborah Gleinert. Thank you for acknowledging my 20 years here at Queensborough. It's been an enriching and rewarding experience. Uh, I'd like to particularly thank uh, the people in the business department, particularly Chairperson Kathleen Villani, and um, also Karen Grant and Phyllis Pace, who have been my supervisors, as well as Marilyn Katz. Uh, this has been a fantastic experience for me. I've been teaching uh, computer software technology to the students and um, it gives me such pleasure to know that I'm making a difference in their lives and that it's something, a skill that they can take directly to the workplace. Uh, so thank you very much, it's been great. For the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, Robert Goldsman. Hey, thank you, President Lynch. It's been such a pleasure teaching here at Queensboro um, from my professional and hardworking colleagues. But not only that, for the clerical staff, the B&G, public safety, everybody who makes the college run so smoothly. Um, it's also great to have such diversity here at Queensboro. Really appreciate that. Uh, the hardworking um, immigrants who come here to make a better life for themselves. Uh, I, I particularly respect them. Um, you know, in teaching math, you try to make things interesting for the students, and sometimes it's difficult. So I try to mix some humor in. So today, just today, uh, I was doing formulas, and there was a whole page full of formulas. And so I said to my students, you know, there is more formulas here than you'd find in a maternity ward. <laughs> okay, and so one of the students said, Mr. Goldsman, you should do stand-up. So I said, no, I prefer to sit down. <laughs> Anyways, those are the kind of jokes. I know, like, in the, um, rate my professor, if anybody's ever gone to that website. One of the, um, one of the students said, Mr. Goldsman, he's a good math teacher, but he needs new jokes. So <laughs> maybe that's true. I don't know. Um, Anyway, I want to give a shout out to my second favorite administrative assistant here at uh, Queensboro, Cal Carol Schilling. Oh, yeah. Always efficient, smiling, and willing to help, and very patient. Sometimes I make mistakes. Of course, she's my second favorite administrative assistant. My first, actually, comes um, from the chemistry department, my wife, Wendy. <laughs> Now, and she's my favorite at home and at Queensboro. Now, I told my, for years I've told my students, you know, I love eating at Wendy's. Now, so I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, sometimes seven days a week, and the kids are like freaking out. I say, what? Huh? Until one of them would find, say, Mr. Goldsman, is Wendy your wife? I said, very good. Yes, exactly. So I want to thank my wife, Wendy, as well, making me feel like an honorary member of the chemistry department as well as the math computer science. Thank you. From the Department of Engineering Technology, Michael Kozma. Good evening, all. 
believe it or not, I actually first time came to Queensborough, 1964, as a student. <laughs> in the electrical technology department. That was an interesting year because it turns out about that time there were a lot of different uh, changes coming along in the electronics industry and I was very happy to be some a part of that. Vacuum tubes, for example, were being replaced by transistors. New devices like uh, light emitting diodes, field effect transistors were coming into age and joining all of the other electronic components. The US was involved in the space race. And I was really, really excited to be a part of that. And so much so, I decided I would have to go on further for my education, well beyond Queensboro for the associate degree. So I went to a four-year school at night while I was working in the daytime and got a bachelor's, continued along to my uh, master's degree. And I always felt like I had this affection for Queensboro because I really thought they had given me a great start back here and I admired the faculty and the great education that I had gotten because quite honestly in high school, I don't think I was the best student. So anyway, I sent a resume into Queensboro after I got my master's in 1977. At that time, that Joe Idala was the department chairman of VT. You all remember Joe maybe? Anyway, it's Labor Day weekend, or right before Labor Day, I'm coming home from soccer camp, from a uh, soccer tournament in Virginia. It's 9.30 Sunday night. It's raining, and the phone is ringing. I answer the phone, and sure enough, it's Joe Idala. He says, Cosma, I have your crummy resume here. Do you still want to teach at Queensboro? If you know Joe, you know exactly what I mean. I says, yeah, sure, I wouldn't mind teaching at Queensboro. Why, what do you got? Well, I got Electronics One. If you want to teach that, you feel comfortable, you can come in and teach Electronics One if you feel like you're able. I said, yeah, I wouldn't mind teaching Electronics One. Where's it start? Tomorrow, six o'clock, be here at 5.30, I'll give you the books. <laughs> Honest to God, true story, true story. So I did, I've been here since, and I can honestly say I'm very grateful to Queensboro for the opportunity to be part of the instructional staff. So I'm really thankful and really honored to be here for 20 years. Oh, and by the way, I met my wife here in Queensboro. She's over there. I met her in 64, and we've been married 51 years. Thank you very much. From the Department of Chemistry, Dr. George Lyons. Thank you. As a small kid, I remember them building the Throgs Neck Bridge, and I thought that was really cool. And then I remember as a small kid driving by here and seeing the Deepdale Country Club. And I said, as a small kid, I don't know why, but I want to go here and play golf. One day they called me up, asked me to teach, gave me an interview and taught. I was kind of disappointed when the golf course wasn't here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but anyhow, for the most part, I've been kind of happy here. That's a ringing recommendation. <laughs> kind of lost something, but... All right, but anyhow, I want to thank all of you for for, for, uh, for the time I've been here. This is a, a cordial, it's a great academic environment for the community here. It's always been a great place to work. And I've met a lot of great people here. I've had a, the opportunity to teach tomorrow's generation. Sometimes I think I'm the guiding light of tomorrow's generation. I've had some very great students, some not so great students. I've had people that seem like they're gonna be something and make something other. I've had other people that aren't, but that's life. C'est la vie. So if anyone knows me, I'm the one who never has much anything to say. I'm the quiet one. That's a joke. But anyhow, <laughs> like a fly in the wall, I've been a member of the QC community since 1992. The chemistry department for which I teach has been like a family to me. So you probably, it's hard to read my handwriting. 
<laughs> so you probably never heard of these people, but I started working for Butrus Arnowich, and then Peter Wong. I love all these people. And then Paris Sylvanus, who told me that he was going to fire me if I didn't learn how to spell his name. <laughs> and then for Karimi, Sasan, and I'm still here. And thank you very much. For the Department of Health, Physical, pardon me, Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance, June Map. Good evening. This is the room I came to back in 1979 in the fall, and this room had chalkboards because back then they didn't have computers to put in the classes. And I stood in the middle of the room and cried because I was new here from Barbados. I didn't understand the system. I didn't know what a GPA was. And I couldn't figure out how to get a class because everything was closed. One professor stopped and said, I'm going to help you. And he taught me how to choose my classes. Thank God for computers. <laughs> So I came here in, back in 1979 and discovered the RFK Hall, where there is a dance studio. And there I met a wonderful teacher by the name of Muriel Mattings, may she rest in peace. And uh, she introduced me to modern dance, much to the regret of my parents, because I became a dancer, not the nurse they were looking for, and not the fashion designer my father was looking for. Eventually, I went on to other college and I was asked to come back and do a dance workshop in Afro dance. And about two months later, I got a call from Ellen Feldman, who was in charge of the department. She asked, would you like to teach an Afro-Caribbean dance class? I said, okay, I think I can handle that. And I've never left. So to sum it all up, I taught in the Board of Ed for 25 years. One night at a school, York Academy of Dance, I heard somebody scream, Professor Mapp! And I'm looking around and there's this lady who says, you're my friend's teacher. Now, I didn't teach her, I taught her best friend. She says, I'm gonna tell my best friend you're here. So open school night, I heard my name screamed out again, Professor Mapp. I'm like looking around, this is the fifth floor of a building with three different schools in it. This lady's child was going to school on the first floor. She climbed five flights of stairs to tell me that she is now teaching kids what I taught her. That night, I was so flamagasted, it would be the best word to put it, because I, it just dawned on me that what I have been doing here all these years is teaching the generation that's to come. And those are, so what we do is very important. And all I have left to say is thank God. And thank my mother, who's 84 years old and wanted to be here tonight, but we can only bring one person. So I brought my brother, who has always been the, the support behind me. So I'd like to thank my family and thank the family at Queensboro. Thank you so very much. From the Department of English, Joan Moretti. Hey, 
I would like to thank uh, Dr. Timothy Lynch and the uh, Faculty Executive Committee for their recognition of my 20 years of service. None of this would have been possible without the encouragement and support of Dr. Sheena Gillespie, former chairperson of the English department. She saw potential I didn't even know I had and encouraged me to join the English department 20 years ago. I must also acknowledge two former faculty members of the English department, Dr. Helene O'Connor, who is no longer with us, and Dr. Alan Lanner, who is here tonight. Their friendship and inspiration and encouragement have guided me throughout my teaching career. 20 years ago, the names on the cubicles read like Gilman, Nolan, Crozier, Stanley, O'Connor, Chankin, Levy, Pipolo. They're no longer here. Today, today, the names are different. But what hasn't changed is the spirit and integrity of the English department. And under the steady hand of Dr. Jennifer Malloy, the faculty will be able to navigate the academic climate change that the college is experiencing. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the secretarial staff, Rosita and Cheryl, whose steady hands and infinite patience keep the department functioning smoothly, and Holly McLean, our wonderful assistant. Finally, I would like to say that myself and fellow adjuncts may be considered part-time with regards to our physical schedule, but I can assure you our commitment to our students and our profession is always full-time. Thank you for this honor. So our next honoree is a bit of a backstory here. You'll have to indulge me. <clears throat> when I started working here two and a half years ago, I was going through the directory looking for um, some contact information. And in the Department of Math and Computer Sciences, I see this name. And I had a flashback. I said, it can't be. No, please don't let it be. <laughs> <laughs> it was my high school math teacher and basketball coach. And I said, this can't be the same guy. But he was teaching at that time, and I went over to the hallway outside of the classroom, and I hear the same. <laughs> so you think you can just show up without studying and pass my course? And I said, oh, good Lord, I'm having flashbacks now. <clears throat> so I text all of my friends from the basketball team 25 years ago, and I say, you're not going to believe this. I said. Vinny Scotty is now working for me. <laughs> I said, what should I do? And I'm expecting, have him run 10 laps, have him run 20 laps, have him run 30 laps, because that's what he did to us. But what I got was, tell him thank you, tell him I love him. <laughs> And we do. So Vinny, thank you. Even though he showed up to my office with my high school yearbook to embarrass me in front of Olga and Deborah and Janice with my graduation pictures. But anyway. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, there are too many people that I really have to thank, especially from my own department. And if I started naming people, I'd probably forget someone and insult them. So I just want them to know they're deep in my heart. I thought I'd bring some of, uh, some of the things that I look at and pretend I really understand. This, this is something I picked up in a curio shop. It says, teaching isn't about the income, it's about the outcome. You know, most of us being teachers, 
you work hard in the classroom and you don't get this great feeling that you were supposed to get. Your students aren't gonna understand what you've done for them until 20 years later. <laughs> However, I do have to say this. I have been blessed with various times that I've met some of my former students. Many of them are doctors, lawyers, priests, college presidents. <laughs> and I, I am so proud that they, despite my interference have become such <laughs> wonderful people in society. My wife shares my uh, passion. She buys me t-shirts. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Here's what it says. I'm not crazy because I teach. I'm crazy because I like it. <laughs> I am indebted to Queensborough. Oh, by the way, I always spell Queensborough. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Without the UG. No, uh, I am so grateful because I'm able to continue to do what I love to do more than anything. Thank you very much. For the Department of English, Karen Simons. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Wench, for, for a minute. I got <laughs> I've gotten a little nervous now. But thank you very much for this honor. Um, I've had the privilege of working in the English department with some amazing people who are not only my colleagues, but my friends. I've worked here a long time, 20 years as an adjunct, but I was part of the adjuncts that came at night. I worked in the Department of Education as a special ed teacher, and I'd leave my students to come here. And there was a always warm feeling that when I walked on this campus, I knew what I needed to do. Even though I had a long day, I would get another kind of energy because I knew I was going to work with people that really wanted to learn, sometimes. <laughs> But what the greatest thing was that I could take what I learned here and the experiences and take it to my students in the Department of Education and tell my students, this is what you need to do to get to the next step. It has been a pleasure, a great blessing, because I was a person that never thought that this would be my role. It just happened to be an extra part-time job that someone said, why don't you try this? A window opens and you never realize that that will be your path for many years, <laughs> many years. <laughs> the greatest gift, as my colleague just said, was being able to be here with other students. And I, too, saw one of my special needs students here as a college student. He was an elementary school student and said, Miss Simmons, Miss Simmons. I'm like, 
Who's calling me? And it was this young man that said, Miss Simmons, I was in elementary 239. I was so proud. And the greatest gift that we all have is that we serve these students that do not realize what's ahead, but we're there to support them. So I thank my department, my staff members, my secretarial staff that makes me laugh and keeps me on point and gives the encouragement for us to keep going because they keep things together. And my other colleagues that share information and give me all kinds of encouragement. Thank you. And thank you all of you who work for the students as support. We all are here to help them and they give us the gift of seeing them move on. Thank you very much. We're now moving to our 30-year honorees from the Department of Buildings and Grounds, Susan Minnell. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'll keep this short and sweet, OK? I spent more than half my life at Buildings and Grounds, and I'm truly blessed for it. It's been a privilege to be part of Queensborough, and I'm, I'm fortunate to have formed a bond with my colleagues, Joseph Cardellano, Vivi Tsarhas, and especially Clara Taylor. It's been great. God bless, and thank you. From the Department of Social Sciences, Dr. Pellegrino Mantra. President Lynch, thank you very much for honoring me tonight, my third year and Dr. Kalkin from the Social Science Department. Uh, it has been a great honor and privilege to teach at Queensborough Community College in the profession I love so much. I want to thank all of you to make this forum a special place for me, especially my colleagues. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you all for making my life richer with friendship and above all, with great ideas. I view teaching as a calling, a gift, a privilege. It was Plato, Phil, a Platonist, said over 2,000 years ago that teaching is the greatest art. He viewed art as a supreme in teaching. What is art? Is it the ideal, the beautiful? the perfect form we strive for, a perfect lecture. After 30 years, I always try to improve my lectures. And no two lectures are the same. Thus, teaching is an art in speech, art in language, art in knowledge, art in wisdom, and art in eloquence. That is what I value in teaching, and I thank Queensborough Community College for this opportunity. Thank you and God bless you. We shall now move to our 40 year honorees. From the Department of Social Sciences, Dr. Joe Culkin. 
I just want to say something. When I got to 40, I thought if you get one minute for 20, you should have two minutes for 40. <laughs> Can I start now? <laughs> so finally, the rookies are finished having their say. <laughs> it's time for the veterans to speak up. I have nothing prepared, uh, and I know that I better be brief because you're all waiting to eat dinner. Uh, so I'd just like to say uh, there isn't enough time in one minute to thank everybody who I should be thanking. So I want to thank everybody who's helped me in so many different ways along the way in my department and across the college community uh, to come in here every day for 40 years. Well, not every day. <laughs> Most days for 40 years. Uh, you've made it easier and uh, much more pleasurable, and I want to thank you all. Department of Engineering Technology, Craig Weber. I'm speechless. That's very rare for me. If you ask my students being speechless, my goodness. Um, um, I'll keep it short. I hear the uh, I hear oh, things okay. going out there. Uh, I'd just like to thank my chairman over the years, uh, four of them, and my present chairman, Hamid Nadar. And um, yeah, and as I said, I've had a lot of good students. I could talk about them all night. I had one student, uh, Sir Jacques. He's presently rebuilding Haiti on a George Soros grant, millions of dollars. He's an architect. He stayed. He went to the city, and he's been going on now for 25 years. Uh, Nicola Bo, I'd like to mention her too. Another student. Uh, we went to a field trip with the Architecture Club to Yale who, about 15 years ago. She liked it so much she applied, was accepted, got her master's, and now she's doing architecture in Connecticut. Uh, these type of things make it very, very heartening uh, to, to be a teacher. It's amazing. And uh, that's all I can say. What else can I say? And I thank you all for being here and a pleasure for your company. It's most excellent. This evening's final honoree, with 50 years of service to Queensborough. From the Department of Biological Sciences and Geology, Antoinette Perrigan. I would like to thank everyone that I've worked with, uh, that I've met, some uh, very lovely people. And um, I came here very shy, and I was asked at one point to um, be a marshal at graduation, which was really scary for a shy person. But I did it, and um, uh, I've enjoyed helping my faculty eagerly, and I've also enjoyed helping my students that come with problems and needs. And uh, I, I just thank everyone. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.
So colleagues, at this time, I would ask uh, again for a round of applause for our honorees, for all of what they've done. And I would ask that all of those who have been honored this evening join me for a photograph um, just near the, the, the front entrance of the, of the building uh, while our staff prepares for dinner. Thank you all.